the another question which you may be asked is what is drill through in power bi what happens in power bi that let's say you have a master report which is at little higher level and you want to showcase the details of that master report or let's say there is a visual which is very high level you want to show the details of how do you go to the details of that visual along with the all the filters and on the line on which you are going to click those all values should get passed so such feature which allows you to go to another page along with the line values the specifically the categorical values and all the filter values is known as drill so drill through features in power bi allows user to navigate from one report page to another focusing on specific details associated with the data it allows deeper analysis by providing a way to view detailed information without clogging up the main report so you don't have to put everything into your main report you can have the higher level detail and then you can drill down and then it also allows you to filter the information when you are drilling down you don't have to look at you know millions of rows so you select a let's say product or a category or a combination of product category or users and then drill down so that you know there is a guided method to that information drill through configuration power bi user can designate certain fields within their data set as drill through fields and these fields typically contains the information that users are interested in exploring further such as brand category item color. so on the page you have to specify on what columns or what categorical variables you are going to drill through and when you go to the visuals so this is in the set setting of the page which happens in the setting of the page you can specify what columns you wanted to drill through on one particular page and that page is going to become the drill through page on which you are going to land now on the other pages on the visuals let's say if you have added brand there or category there now on the brand or category when they are available in the visual you will be able to see an option for drill through and that drill through is basically you are going to use so we are going to try this out on power bi but just wanted to tell you that you have drill through partial drill through you have drill through buttons also now so this feature is little big i will try to cover few of them in this video i'll also give you the link of a detailed video done on this already on my channel so you can also refer to that so let's jump out of the power bi desktop so i'm here on the power bi desktop and for this question let me add another page and let me call it d69 first of all what i want here is basically i want to create this page as a drill through page but i need a page from where i wanted to and i need a visual there so i already have a page q66 and on this page q66 I actually have a brand and category visual and we are going to play around with this visual a little bit so what we can do is basically here is let's go ahead and duplicate this visual now and when I'll give you file then you might see that you know when I answered the question 66 I have one visual why does it become two because when we came to question 69 we actually changed it a little bit on this visual what I'm going to do here is I'm going to only keep brand so now we have two visual one visual on category one visual on brand and from both the visual we want to drill and pass the information to another detailed report which we are going to create on d60 so let's create a report on d69 instead of q i'm calling it d69 we'll create a table visual we'll have brand category item name and we can have net and gross here net gross margin percent logs also let me convert this into a table visual and name is first let me first move the category and i want name to be third so brand category name now i want to drill on this page from other pages so i clicked on the empty space and let me open the format or the properties of this page i go to the page information and there i use the page type and the page type is drill through once i do that keep all the filters keep all the filters means whatever filters are there whether they're part of this drill through from or not everything is going to be passed now if you uncheck this whatever is part of the drill through only that will be passed so that is what we do the partial drill through if you enable the cross report you will be able to drill across reports now, this is within the report we are doing but you can do a cross report also now next thing which you want to do here is basically let's add something so we want to drill from brand so first example we only add brand here so i added a brand here now now let's go to the q66 and in q66 when i right click on this visual which is net by brand you can see that i have a drill through filter on brand i will drill using brand 8 
now on this drill through page you can see there is a filter of brand 8 already applied on the page i automatically gets a button to go back i have not done any addition for that i automatically got it so this is the feature what we call drill through so what we have done here is we have created drill through and we have we have drilled through on another page this is drill through when we go to the other visual now this visual have brand and category but because it has brand when you right click you can still see drill through d69 is it going to drill only brand or brand plus category so let's drill through and see what happens it passes both brand and category why is passing both because what we have used is keep all filters so it doesn't matter what you give from drill through this will be used to show that menu item but it still passes all the filters so that is the role of that one again you can click back on the button and please remember on power bi desktop you have to use control click on any button if you are on power bi service you can use just click now similarly there is a drill through button also any button can be made drill through so you can go to insert and there you can have a button if you see here there are quite a few kind of buttons did a blank button so i added a blank button and i put it on my visual and i go to the button style and in the button style I enable the text and i write down drill through there drill through buttons i have just written the text it is not drill through you have to go to the actions and action is going to tell you which kind of button it is so switch on the action and choose a type and type is drill through when you choose a type drill through it asks for a destination and you can see there is an fx button with the destination it means you can dynamically decide based on a major which drill through destination you want means i can switch the pages based on a major but right now i don't want to showcase that so i'm going to simply choose a static page and only page where i have drill through enabled right now is d69 because we have given some values if you click on any of the brand let's say if i click on this and button is not belonging to that particular visual i clicked on the brand on the second visual you can see the drill through button is enabled now control click and you see i am able to pass on the values of brand a to another page i am able to drill through and see the detail information now let's go back control click on the back button now what i would like to do here is i want to click on this particular first visual but i still don't want to pass the category value it means that the category value should not pass how can i do that for that i need to go to this drill page d69 and i disable this keep all filters now once i disable keep all filters whatever you have given in drill through from only those field values will be passed previously it was enabled for those now it is enabled as well as it is going to pass those values both the restriction apply on the list of the fields which are available here in this drill through from so let's go go back if i right click here and i use drill through d69 you will see the brand 2 has passed not the category there was a brand there was a category but category did not pass because of our setup so in this manner we can restrict it the same behavior can also be done using the drill through button let's go ahead and duplicate this d69 and in this one let's enable keep all fit on the duplicate and let's call it q69 i'll go back to d66 i have a button drill through here it was drilling on one page i can create that if category is filtered do go to q69 if category is not filtered then go to d60 that kind of a major i can create how do we create a major we can click on any of the table where we want to create a major so i click on the major table because and now i can see the table tool so once i see the table tool inside the table tool i have an option for new major i'll click on that i click what condition i want based on what i will decide i'll simply say is filtered if the value is filtered then go ahead and do a decision or take a decision when something is filtered choose page if is filtered item category if is filtered item category then go to q69 as go to d69 choose page create a simple major based on the filter we are going to take a decision make sure the button is selected go to the action and click on destination you see d69 and q69 these are the two things we have given in the page the name should match now go to the fx we validated the page exists now we go click on fx it will open a pop-up for us in this pop-up it is asking for field value it means it, we can choose a major here we we'll search for the page choose page major and we we'll click on let's click on the brand on the brand wise visual the button is enabled control click on the button we reach on d69 control click back click on brand category visual click on drill through we go to q69 
in Q69, the category is also getting filtered. That's what we decided that it should filter the category. In the previous page, even though the category would have been filtered, we have asked it not to filter category, only filter the branch. Just for our reference again, click on brand. In the brand visual, which only contains brand, drill through D69. Go back, click on brand category visual, click on drill through D69. So in this manner, we are able to toggle the pages based on the major. We are able to toggle the page based on what is selected and we can take a dynamic decision. So this is what we call dynamic drill through. A process in which you decide based on value. Now you can think about a scenario where you say, oh, if the selected value is brand one, I want to go to something. If selected value is brand two, I want to go to drill through two. All these possibilities are there. As long as what is selected in the page is accessible to you. Now, something which is not accessible to us is basically filter inside the major and major itself. In such scenarios, you might not be able to take decisions. But yes, you can think about calculation group to be a little innovative in case of majors. Now you understood how powerful this feature is drilled through, what exactly it means, how it can help you to provide the detailed information to your end user and how to answer this case and various related questions like button, not passing certain set of values and etc. along with the basic drill through. So why don't you go ahead and try out all these 